Hey folks, it was just a week ago that we began an open peer review of our manuscript detailing the correlation between sunspots and atmospheric pressure in the Amundsen Sea. Since then, we have made some updates, including adding a new reference citation that we missed at first because the title gives no clue it is related, but it couldn't be more related. It turns out that the variability they're actually discovering here is on approximately a 21-year cycle, which comes close to matching the solar hail cycle very closely. The sun's full magnetic reversal cycle is about 22 years, but can vary between 20 and 24. This paper from 2004 finds the correlation with a similar persistent pressure setup in the South Indian Ocean Ocean, not unlike the Amundsen sector we studied in our paper and which is located in the South Pacific. It is noteworthy that one of the authors, Paul Mayuski, is about as much of a legend as you get in this field. He's taken dangerous expeditions, seen the harshest environments in the world. If you can imagine a real-life, unsensationalized Indiana Jones that actually does research instead of just getting into trouble all the time, that's him. Anyway, in addition to adding another reason why this study made perfect sense to perform, we got another other statistical analysis done. I want to thank David Finch, retired, University of Sussex, for his independent analysis of the statistical data, also noteworthy that he is an avid observer, that makes three independent finds of the same correlation. Mr. Mendez, our co-author, David Finch, and Charlie Kidd, an expert in Excel performance of statistical analyses. For those who were curious what is going on at the start of the chart over on the left, both the moving average and the 33-month lag are hiding a peak in pressure. David actually went ahead and made a chart without the lag so we could show you the spike that gets hidden and how the sunspot numbers had actually been up even higher and how, just like with other cycles, they had peaked and started going down already by the time the pressure peak occurred. The strong match in both the chart you see here and in the correlation table indicate that this correlation is real. It's been performed three times independently now, and this result is significant beyond the 99.99% level. I am not sure how many of you tried to reach out to an atmospheric scientist, a climatologist, or a solar physicist, but an opinion from someone like that is really all we are missing. We do not have strong contacts there and are outside of the mainstream academic world. We have done about as much groundwork as non-experts could possibly be expected to do, and now we are humbly asking for help, and asking for you to help us seek that help. Again, they study the atmosphere, climate, space weather, the polar regions. Chances are they could opine. We greatly appreciate your support and your help in this matter. Be safe, everyone.